Greetings, this is Monish Taneja of the Avaya Client Services team and today we'll be discussing about how to enable logs on Avaya Quality Monitoring Server. So following are the important logs uh, on Avaya Quality Monitoring Server which needs to be enabled uh, to troubleshoot issues. Firstly, the BDR service logs. Uh, the BDR server is the uh, central component uh, that makes decisions to record contacts based on incoming events and the rules configured. So these are really important uh, for, for troubleshooting. The if adapter logs are, are used to check the CTI feed between the ACR and QM. E-recorder audio service logs are used to uh, troubleshoot issues uh, for, uh, related to call recordings and the playback. In the e-recorder video service logs are for screen recording and playback of the screen. And uh, the command service logs are used uh, to troubleshoot issues related to the QM web page. Now I'll show on one of my lab servers. So on the server we go to uh, program files installation directory. Here uh, it's witness and uh, then to QM. Under uh, QM uh, we'll find an executable file named uh, logmanager.exe. So this is used to enable uh, the debug high level logs. So here we select uh, the service. Uh, Firstly, the BDR service, and now we'll uh, change the log level here to uh, debug high. After selecting, we uh, apply changes, and this is the path uh, for uh, the logs. So we can collect the logs from here. So secondly, we'll uh, select the next service we want to change the level for. Uh, let's uh, try for uh, e-decoder audio. We select the service, and then uh, change the phrase level to debug high once selected and we apply changes the path will be same okay so next uh, we'll change the level for uh, e-recorder video service and uh, then change the trace level to uh, debug high and uh, once select debug high we apply changes and then the path is same Next, we'll change for uh, e recorder service and change the trace level to debug high. Once selected, then apply changes and uh, the path will be same. And uh, the next, uh, we'll uh, change for, uh, let's say, if adapter logs. So these are important logs uh, as we can check the CTI feed using these logs. So we'll change the level to debug high and then apply changes next uh, let's uh, do it for uh, the command service that's the last one left and, uh, the command service we select and the change the trace level these are important in cases uh, where uh, web page issues are there and once uh, the service so are selected and log level is changed uh, we close the log manager and go to the path mentioned there under qm folder it's logs folder and uh, on the logs folder uh, you will find all the logs here you can see uh, the bdr service logs so once uh, the log is collected for a day it's converted to a zip file and saved in the same folder. And, uh, the current day logs will be a notepad file. Here we can see command service logs. And uh, we scroll down and uh, we see e-recorder audio. And below that uh, e-recorder service logs. And then uh, e-recorder video logs we can see. And uh, lastly if adapter logs. You can see here. So once the log level is changed, we go to this folder and open the current day file. And uh, at the top, we can see the log level is info. From the letter I, we can see the log level is info. We can check this. And when we scroll down at the bottom of the file, we can see the log level has been changed. See, D signifies a debug high. H signifies high. So this is how we can check the log level. 
so we can check for uh, other services as well once uh, you confirm see at the top it's info and uh, when we bottom of the file we scroll down we'll see okay in this file the data is not updated as of now so once new data comes in the log level uh, will be debug high we can i'm sure that okay so next uh, we can check for uh let's say command service we can see here bdr service is here let's check for bdr service okay bdr service at the top we can see info level logs and uh, at the bottom we can see debug high so as we have changed the level now so we can see uh, for the past few minutes uh, we are getting debug high logs so once we are confirmed with the level has changed, you can uh, do the te testing and wait for the issue to uh, reproduce. And once it's captured in the logs, you can pull the logs from here. Thank you for watching this video. We welcome comments, feedback and suggestions at mentor.avaya.com and also on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For further details, please refer to support.avaya.com. Thank you and uh, have a great day.